Hey everybody, Crappies here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Been a while since I made a video. I think a lot of that has to do with I've been on a lot of like progression videos or practicing and they all win until they don't. <laughs> That's the way it goes when you go up when you lose. This one has a minor go up when you lose and I call it the King 7 and uh, it works really good for a cold table. You win on the low rolls and you can really win on the big ones. But like I said, every strategy has a hole. I, put, I think I put a post out on anything craps the other day when I was going through it and uh, through a bunch of different, not this strategy, but a different strategies. And they, there's a hole where you're gonna lose in every strategy. And if not, then they wouldn't let you do it. They would put a stop to it. They'd make a rule. You know, I come out with that million dollar strategy. That's the only way to beat it. But it's, you, there's no table that has unlimited, you have to have unlimited bankroll, unlimited table limit. And so you can't, it can't be done. So that's why I made that video. Even though I said in the video, I said, this is for uh, entertainment purposes only. We're just playing it for fun. There's still people that negative stuff on it. I was just like, Ugh. so I just kind of stayed away and didn't even read the comments on the rest. But I guess I'm a sensitive kind of guy. I'm sensitive. But anyway, this one, I really like the King 7. It could replace my cold table, but you have to have a little bit more of a bankroll. Um, I've got only got a thousand here, and this will be a $25 table. You can do it on any level. Um, we're going to be using the don't pass with, and putting odds on it. And we're going to put $30 in odds. And the reason we're going to do $30 increments of odds, um, uh, is it only pays 15 on the four, pays 20 here, pays 25 here. So it works out for all the numbers. So that's how we're going to progress up on the, on that. Now where I play at, we get 10 times odds and some other casinos will, you know, do five times, four times, three times, four times, two, you know. So it really depends on where you play to it, to if you can play this strategy or not. But uh, at Cherokee, there are 10, 10 times odds, and that's where I play most of the time. All right. Well, I only did almost a three-minute intro, so let's get going on this thing. All right, I'll explain it as we go. We're going to go on the don't pass, starting out, and get us a point. Here we go, coming out. All right, we got a five for a point. That's good. Now we're gonna go in the come, just like cold table. But uh, now we'll win on a set on a seven, either here or here. Uh, lose on a craps number there. So we're gonna hit a five. We're gonna lose this. So anyway, here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, we hit the seven. All right, instant win. We win here. Went on the don't pass, made a quick 50 bucks. Look at that. Pow. That's why this one's good. When everyone else is sad, they just got all their bets set up. All right, here we go. Coming out. We're in the don't pass. All right, we hit a 12. 12 is a push. Doesn't cost us anything. All right, there's an 8 the hard way. Now, 8 isn't your best for the don't pass but I still play it, okay? We're gonna go in the come again. Hopefully if we get a seven right here, we're in good shape. Instead, we hit the old craps number. We hit a three, we lose. All right, now we lost, we're minus one. So I count with my finger or whatever, we're down one. All right, so now I'm gonna put $30 in odds right here, and I'm gonna go back in the come. All right, here we go. So I'm making up for that one right here. I know I'm not going to get it all back, but it, it'll add up in the, beginning, in the end. Yo, 11. All right, we got one back. Now, you can take that mods down. That's the good thing about pressing out here to protect yourself is you can do it yourself instead of having the dealer involved. But I'm just going to leave it up there so we might be able to rake that profit at the end. And I'm going to max this thing out at 10 times. At 10 times, I will not be putting any more odds out there. We'll kind of see after we get going. All right, we hit an eight. I'm gonna go to the eight and it's gonna knock this off. All right, 
So now we're down three units, correct? So on this come out, we're going to go right here. We have no protection now. We would lose this comb on a seven. We would lose here on a seven. So this is the weak, weak hole. All right, we got an eight. That's kind of nice. All right, the eight is going to come down and pay us. So we're going to get paid on the eight. Now we're down three. So I'm going to put three times odds. Should be 90 bucks in odds. I'm going to stack them out like this so we can see what's up. A lot of people stack them like that, but you can go that way with your odds on the dome. All right, so we got our $90 in odds. We're in to come. We're rolling. And we got our five. It's going to travel to five. Alright, after I get my second combat on every other one that I make, I'm going to add to the odds. Alright, here we go. Because right now we're in pretty good shape if we get a 7. Yo, 11. We win. Oops. Like I said, you could, because we won there, you could pull one of these back. But I'm just going to leave them. If it was getting desperate, you could. Alright, there's an 8. We hit the point again. Busted it. All right, so now we are six, uh, seven times down. All right, we are coming out with no protection. We're gonna be in a mess if we hit a seven right here. This ain't where we want the seven. But there it is. All right, showing the bad and the ugly of this strategy. We're gonna lose everything, but we're down seven, seven times units. All right. So here we are, coming out again. Until we hit that don't pass, we're going to keep adding them up. There's a six. All right, we'll put seven times odds. Which is more than that, because I'm doing 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me slide this down, because I'm going to have to add a couple more. Yeah, this is really... This is rare that this happens, but it's happening now. Like I said, every strategy has a hole. So we're invested pretty deep. Here we go. Seven right now would be nice. There it is. That helps. That'll get most of our money back. Okay? We're going to get paid here. 30 pays a quarter. So we'll get paid here, here, here. All these will pay us a quarter. And collect it all up and we'll see where we stand. That was a perfect time to hit that seven. Now we start back over again. We are actually in the profit a little bit. Not bad for what a pain in the butt that was. All right, let's try it again. Start back over fresh. Okay, with no losses, we're on the don't pass. Coming out. All right, we hit a 12, that's another push. And nine will be the point. All right, we're gonna try to get two come bets set before we start adding here, unless we lose something to come. All right, here we go. And we got a six. We'll travel to the six. Gonna go on the come again. Here we go. There's a nine. Of course, we didn't have no odds on there though. That's good. We'll travel the nine. We're gonna lose here. We're gonna go back on the don't pass, and we are totally vulnerable. Right now, we on a bad number, we lose everything. So right now we are one unit down. Okay. Here we go. And we got a four. That's perfect for the don't. Alright, so we're gonna put our one up there. And then, because we're going to go in the come again, we're going to have two out there. Does everybody understand that? So now we got double the odds, okay? And the four is only going to pay us a little bit, but that's just the way it is. You get true odds on that. Only three ways to hit it. And there's the seven. All right, we're going to lose here, but we're going to win here. We're going to win here. And that was 15 and 15. It's 30. I'm going to win right here. Seven strategy. We gained a few bucks that time, not a lot. That was a rough one. 
So far, I'm not. We're not doing terrible. We're just not doing good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right, we are coming out, and there's a seven on the come out. Now we're one down. One down. All right, we are coming out, and we got an eight. That is great. All right, we're gonna. Normally, we get our two come bets set before we go here, but we lost one unit on that come out, so now we're gonna go thirty here, and we're gonna go into come. All right, and we hit a 10. All right, we, after we get our second combat, for every other combat we set up to 10, we're gonna put, put our odds down, but this one we will not. Hope everybody understands that, okay? And there's our set, okay? Then nine, we lose this one, but we win here. We win here, and we win here. All right, we're inching, inching forward. Well, inching. Just remember, we had we only had a thousand, so we're up a hundred, maybe a hundred and ten dollars or so. All right, we're gonna go on the don't pass again. We are coming out. There's another one. We are down one right out of the gate. All right, so we, they owe us one. We want to try to get it back. All right, there's a 10, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna put our $30 in odds because we lost that other don't pass. We're gonna go into come. We'll try to get two of those set and then we'll keep adding. So far we haven't got to that level, but we will. All right, you owe 11, that pays us. And like I said, when you hit one of these, like you, when you hit a yo 11 and you went in there, you could actually pull that down, but I'm gonna leave it. Try to build up some profit here. All right, there's a nine. I'm just gonna try with the nine. Get our second combat set, if we can. There's an eight. That's great. I'm gonna go to the eight. Now we're gonna go back in the comb, and we're gonna add $30 in odds on our 10. Here we go. And there's a seven. Okay. This ain't going so hot, but it ain't too bad. We win here, win here. We're gonna win 15 and 15. Gonna win 30 right here. All right. We are slowly, slowly winning. We are winning. In, in practice, this thing, I doubled the money over a long, pretty long period of time. I come up here and play like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and over a course of time, I filled all the green chips in here. All right, so that about that was a little more than double. All right, going on the don't pass. We are coming out, and we hit the seven, so it owes us one. Isn't that, isn't that so true with the seven love come outs? There's a five. Five will be the point. All right, it owes us one, so we're gonna go 30 in odds, and we're gonna go into come. Here we go, seven right now, be good. There's a nine. All right, let's get our second one set. 10, travel into 10. Now we're gonna go back into come, and we're gonna add 30 in odds. All right. King seven, let's see what happens. There's a nine. All right, the nine's gonna travel over here, but we're just gonna do on and off. It's gonna pay us, so we're just gonna collect and we won't have to add more odds. So that's the good thing about when you get set up, you don't have to keep adding odds. All right, so we're just gonna roll again. And we got a four. Four's gonna travel over here. We're gonna add 30 in odds. 30 more, and we're gonna go into come. All right, here we go. And we hit the eight. Eight's gonna travel the eight. We're gonna put 30 more in odds. We're gonna go into come again. We just don't want a five. And we hit a four, that's good. That's gonna on and off. It's gonna travel, blah, 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 we're gonna get paid a quarter. We don't have to add more odds now. Here we go. And we hit another four. Fours are hot. All right, on and off. Gonna win. And we hit 
snake eyes, so we're going to lose. Regardless of how many we won, we're going to add 30. And we'll slide this down. Add 2. We're going to go for the 1 for the combat, plus the 1 that we lost. So now we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. All right, here we go. And we get the nine. That's on and off. We're gonna win. And we hit the six. It's gonna travel the six. All right, we're gonna go in to come. I'm gonna add 30 more knots. And now we got it all filled up. We're ready to go. We just don't want a five. Five is our bad number. Five would really annihilate us, but. We, we couldn't even double. We'd have to go to 10 times odds as high as we could go. All right, here we go. And we get another four. So we'll pay us on and off. Pay us in the cone. And we got a 10. It's going to pay us on and off. See, the thing about this, too, is we keep building up this money once on these long rolls that when you do hit that, at least it kind of cushions it just a little bit. All right, here we go. And we hit another nine. It's going to pay us. There's an eight. That's great. It's going to pay us on and off. Boom, say boom, 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 pay us. We hit a five. Oh, this is going to travel to five. And we are going to be vulnerable on the next one. All this is lost. And 10 times odds is my max. So I'm going to max out at 10 times odds. Hopefully we don't hit a come out 7. Woo! -hoo. We will be in a met. We will be. We will actually look at our bankroll. We're not really losing much if we do that. That does happen, but whew, this is scary. Are you scared? I'm scared. All right, let's do this. Ah, no 7. Ah, oh, six. Thank you, Lord. All right, going to go to the six. Six is going to come down. Going to pay us. We're going to go to ten times odds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap all these off. Just think, we got all that on six. All right. We're gonna put our come, leave our come bed out there. We can't do any more odds. That's just, we're maxed out. Holy moly, spicoli! Let's see what happens. We just don't want a six. There's our seven. There's our seven. Okay, I'll take it. Even though it was nice having all this set up, I hated being maxed out. All right, we're gonna win here. The good thing about the six is it's gonna pay us a quarter for thirty. It pays five for six. So, boom, boom, boom. We'll see where we stand after all this. There we go. We got paid up. We might have made some money on that. Kind of looks like we did. I don't think we've lost on any hand so far. We, not anything to be upset about. All right. Yep, yeah, we win it. We're at 19 minutes, and we're going to try it again. <coughs> All right. We are coming out. Here we go. Everybody get the gist of what I'm trying to explain here. And like I said, all strategies can lose. There isn't one out there. If, if you ever come up with it, they're not going to let you play it. They're not. So Donna went here. Grab me on over the little thing right there. Oh, gosh. All right. It is real. When it's real money, it hurts a little bit, don't it? If you ain't got it, don't play with it. All right. Here we go. We're in the come. We got a six. All right. We're going to try to get our two come bet set. And the reason I wait on two is... We will get paid here and here. And so right now we would uh, lose this one, we get paid here and here, and still make one unit. So that's why I wait for the two. Okay, does everybody understand that? Here we go. 
there's a 10 all the way down on the end right there all right now we're going to go $30 in odds and we're going to go into come here we go and we got a four that's not a score all right now we're going to go $30 in odds and we're going to go into come all right there's a six that's going to go on and off on the six okay it's going to move up here this is going to move down here and get paid on, that's what on and off means if you guys don't know there's a lot of dealers will call that they'll call on and off and just pay you right there and come all right we rolling we want anything but an eight no eight please and what a seven that'll be fine that'll be fine we're gonna lose all these all right we're gonna win here we're gonna win here and these are gonna thirty dollars pay us a quarter on each one I think I've come up with a good one, guys. The King Seven. The King Seven. All right, I'm getting ready to head to the beach, but I thought I'd make this video before I went. We started off with a Thowie. There's a Thowie right there. Right there. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think we did. I don't know. You may correct me if I'm wrong. There's 50 right there. I don't think we lost at all. On any of the hands there's three hundred and five dollars in profit right there and we maxed out the odds one time which I'm glad we did it ended up working in our favor but that could have been ugly the good thing I think when you do get maxed out on the ten of the odds like I said you have to have the ten times odds or I don't think this would work um, so you check with your casino on what the odds are how many odds you can take um, it, it it just doesn't seem like it loses yet, but I've thought that before about strategies. You guys heard me tell you before. This is the best strategy in the whole world, and I'll play it, and I'll be winning, 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 and then lose it. So there's a hole in every strategy. I don't see the hole here yet, except for running out of bankroll, and once you get ten times odds and. But by the time you get to 10 times odds, you're bringing in so much money off the cum. So, and people are like, why don't you put odds on your cum bets? Well, if you got the bankroll, go ahead and do it. But um, we're really just using the cum to get paid on that seven to, for the advantage because it's a very low house edge. On the, pa the pass line and the cum are exactly the same. And you're winning with that low house edge bet right there. But once they get set, the house has the advantage. So... You can put odds on them if you want. You can try that. But I think it would outrun you in the end. And why would you change? Uh, let's call this perfection. Oh, per this is the perfect strategy. No, King Seven strategy. It's not perfect, but it ain't bad. All right, y'all. Crappy says, don't crap out.